Former American President Benjamin Franklin once said, never ruin an apology with an excuse. But with Jay Israel, he has and continues to ruin apology with an excuse. From his holding cell at the Johannesburg prison, Jay Israel has admitted that he made mistakes. He said the period of his incarceration has given him the opportunity to reflect and to introspect and believes everything happens for a reason. He said, quote, this has been an opportunity for me to reflect and introspect. I realized that I made so many mistakes along the way, but I also got an opportunity to know that despite my shortcomings, God loves me and he will be with me throughout. In what appears a remorseful message to his followers on his official social media page, J. Israel says he wouldn't blame anyone for what has happened, but believes this is the season he has to be in prison. I do not blame anyone, for I believe everything has a season. This is my season to be in prison, and a new season will also come. He said initially he was angry by the situation and felt it was the work of people who hated his so-called Back to Christ movement. Initially, myself and my team were angered by the situation as we felt it was the work of people that hated what we had been doing at the Back to Christ movement. However, upon reflection and upon spending much time with the Lord, I have come to realize a few things. It is recalled that J. Israel from his holding cell at the Douglasdale police station blamed Pastor Alf Lukau and Prophet Hubert Angel for his incarceration. Right, so this is J. Israel. Uh, as you can see, um, I've been locked up and um, uh, they are trying to find things to pin on me. They've been looking for cases to pin on me. They can't find nothing. I know, Lukau, you are behind this. Together with Uber Angel from the UK, you guys are solely behind this. And I uh, just want to give you a warning that this war that you have started, uh, you must get ready because uh, when you think you have won by having me here, you don't know what is coming for you. I'm telling you. This is a warning to you. I want you to know I'm coming for you as soon as I'm done with this. See you then. Since then, he has been criticized by people on social media for not taking responsibility for his actions and inactions. You know, now my problem is when you try to deflate the issue uh, on people, even if Alf Lukau and Hubert Angel are actually behind this, the fact is, did you do it or not? Are your documentation as a Zimbabwean national residing in South Africa, are your documentations proper? Are they appropriate? Are they legit? Or are they fraudulent and fake and you obtain them from a very uh, criminal way? That's the big question. Whatever it is that you're trying to declare, I, I, I really, to be honest, I really don't care because that's not really the issue. The issue is why you were there. He will appear at the Randberg Magistrate Court today to seek bail, a move that could be blocked by the Department of Home Affairs due to his illegal status in South Africa. And he poses a flight risk should he be released on bail. The Department of Home Affairs, they have actually uh, issued and submitted their uh, their documentation through the investigating officer to push and oppose any sort of bail for J. Israel and oppose any sort of bail for him. So this Wednesday, they're going to be in court, the Randback Magistrate Court, I believe at nine in the morning. And he's going to try to get bail. But the Home Affairs have taken his passport, taken his permit, check it through their machine and through their archives and through all their systems and their records, and boom. We don't have anything like this on our records. This is not an authentic permit that J. Israel is using. This is a fake permit. 
he obtained a fake permit. And when you obtain a fake permit, you cannot blame the government, the Department of Home Affairs. No. We will bring you more updates on this developing story.